Hey you guys, welcome back. Uh, this is Mr. Fujito, and we're continuing the 2D Minecraft RPG type game uh, tutorial series. So in the last episode, we had our character be able to place, I mean destroy and place blocks. And now we want to just kind of do, um, uh, in this episode, we're basically just going to do what they have in Minecraft, where when you break a block, it kind of drops a little pointer thing, and you have to walk into that area to pick up that block. Okay. <clears throat> so basically, uh, we're just going to have to <coughs> create new prefabs here. Oh, whoops, wrong thing, sorry. Create a new folder and call this pickups. And now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna kind of move away from all these grass blocks. I'm just gonna make an empty game object at zero, zero, zero. Oops, zero. And I'll just drag all these in here, just so it's not as messy. I'll call this platform. Okay, so now if I put one of these dirt blocks in here, I can put it to negative 40 and 10, let's say, whatever. Now what we want to do for the pickup, we obviously don't want the pickup to be the exact size of the block. However, we um, actually, yeah, so we don't. So let's make the scale of this maybe, uh, actually I'll just duplicate this once. So we could see the difference. I'll make the background one black. Or never mind, this one stays white. And this one I'll just make black just so we could see the difference in proportion. <coughs> okay, so this one will be 0 0.5 maybe? 0 0.25 looks a bit better. No, not the Z, the Z stays the same. Y. 0.25, something like that maybe. Does that look about good? I know we could go with maybe 0 0.3 or 4. 0 0.4 looks good. Okay, and now <coughs> we, we're going to rename this to uh, block underscore dirt underscore pickup. And we'll retag this from block pick up um, <clears throat> I will re will remove the block script because we don't need that okay so one more thing is <clears throat> we obviously still want the box collider to be around but we don't want the box collider <clears throat> I mean we want uh, we want something to collide so that it doesn't just go all the way down but, but I say we use something more like actually this should be good uh, let's just keep it like this and now let's go add component of physics 2d rigid body 2d uh, make sure fixed angle is unchecked so that it can move around and then go physics 2d circle collider and make the radius of this one maybe like 1.5 or maybe like two or three actually there we are and this one has to be is trigger okay so now we will delete this old block dirt the black one block dirt pickup we'll do the same thing with one grass block here so negative 402 10 uh, uh, here we go. Here's one thing I forgot. Sorting layer. Change that from blocks. Add a sorting layer. And call this pickups. And just leave it above the player. but And above the blocks. So it should be at the top so far. <coughs> Alright. So block grass. Pick up. Pickups. And the other one. Pickups. Okay. So we'll rename this as well. 
underscore pickup tag it with pickup remove block scale 0.4 add component physics to the rigid body physics to the circle collider radius of was it three it was three the radius three yeah and is trigger <coughs> okay so now we're going to go into our scripts folder here and we'll make a new script called pickup pickup here it is Excuse me for one moment, sorry. Okay. Oh. <coughs> okay. So now we're going to create a new function here. Function on trigger enter 2D. Call enter. Collider 2D. Yeah. <coughs> We're gonna go ahead and say if collenter dot game object dot tag equals player. So only if the player collides with this object, nothing else. Then it will <coughs> uh Transform dot position equals vector three dot lerp and then what do we do here? So from and then two and then time. Okay. So from transform dot position colenter dot transform dot position and then in about a second. that should work I just want to see that there any errors no so I'm gonna quickly oh man I moved these things really far away I'm just gonna move them over on the X here whoop uh, all the way back here There you go, and this one can move over a bit. Oh, my gosh. Not that much. Just a bit. Okay. So let's just kind of move them down here, I guess. That way they drop into the scene. Boom. Oh, uh, one thing quickly. I forgot to apply the pickup scripts so we're going to quickly apply that to these two objects here test to see if the lerping works there you go so it does kind of go into the player but then it kind of bobs out after the player moves so I say we spend a bit more time maybe three seconds Uh, where's my unity? There it is. And then maybe that would look better. It still does the exact same thing. Okay, that's fine. Whatever. But uh, after this, we'll go... <coughs> <coughs> Yield. Wait for seconds. And we'll say about one. Because that's how long it takes to move. And then we'll go ahead and just add points as a comment, because we'll do that later. And then destroy uh, game object. <coughs> okay. 
So in block manager over here, we want to do a couple of things. We want to create. Let's just go ahead and do this basic for a second. Var dirt amount int zero. Okay. So here in pickup, what is this project? I saw. Close that. Well, you probably won't have that open, but. Okay, so here in pickup, what we want to do now is we want to go var uh, block manager equal is a block manager equals clenter dot game object dot get component block manager. Okay, so block manager dot uh, dirt. Ah, here we are. This is where we need something else. Var type, which is a string, and it can be equal to uh, unidentified for now, but. Uh, if type <coughs> is equal to dirt, yeah, dirt. Else, if type is equal to grass, and then we'll just go with else. Debug dot log error no tag oh no type is identified. Okay. So now we can cut this with control X and we'll paste it in here and in here. But the first thing we want to do is we want to say block manager dot dirt amount plus equals one. And then over here we'll say block manager dot dirt amount plus equals one. Ah, I made a mistake here. Not dirt amount, grass amount. I believe that's what they were called. Yes. Okay. Perfect. So go ahead and save that. <coughs> and we'll try that out. Oh, semicolon at the end on pickup 24. Here it is, semicolon. My bad. block oh I spelled it wrong my bad I accidentally wrote block manager should be block manager and here we are implicit downcast again from pickup for block manager and whatever okay let's try this out so block grass pickup type grass block dirt pickup type dirt play here we are error <coughs> block manager dot grass amount plus equals one. Oh, that's right our calendar is the player but the block manager is attached to the main camera so we'll say we won't say calendar we'll say uh, we'll actually rewrite this here. We'll say, oops, I pressed in, insert. Um, game object dot find with tag main camera dot get component block manager. And this should work better. Okay, let's try this one out. Uh, again. Okay, let's see what the error is here. Game object I'll find with tag main camera dot get component block manager. <coughs> Does anything here have a tag of main camera? No. So make sure your camera is tagged as main camera. 
And now, finally, it should work. Yeah, okay, so it does delete itself, but a bit too late. We'll go up to the dirt here, and it's going to delete itself a bit too late. Um, so now let's see our player here. Our main camera, actually, sorry. Yeah, so dirt amount 1, grass amount 1. Okay, perfect. So that works, but we just need to reduce the time it gets deleted. So let's say yield wait for a second is 0 0.25. So a quarter of a second. I think that's still a bit slow. Actually, I think that if we remove this, let me just try commenting this out for a second. Let me see if that's just per gonna work perfectly fine. No, that's just gonna immediately delete it. That's right. Okay. So let's just go with 0 0.1. So one tenth of a second. Yeah, that looks kind of good. It looks like he kind of picks it up, like he holds it in his hand and then he picks it up, stores it in his bag or whatever. Okay, that's cool. So let's just add that to our prefab and pickups folder. Oh, we got to do them one by one. I forgot. Okay, so now that we can, now that we have that. <clears throat> we can delete this here. <coughs> and now we will go back to block manager. And here, instead of destroying if it's tagged as block, we will say... <coughs> actually, we'll go here and we'll go var uh, dirt pickup. Now here, <coughs> sorry, remove that, and in the block we have block tag, okay, so var block block, we'll, we'll do that for now, equals um, <coughs> block equals hit dot game up, uh, Collider dot game object dot get component block if block dot block dot oh my gosh how do you get that out of block oh there is block at the end never mind um block dot block tag And then we'll go else if block dot oh my gosh block dot block tag equals dirt. Actually, we'll switch the two around because we always go with grass. Or sorry, dirt first. I don't know. We we were just doing that from before. So let's just do that. <coughs> so if it's tagged as dirt, go um. Destroy, destroy, hit, hit, dot collider, dot game, object, so destroy the object itself, and then we'll go ahead and we'll say, var, dirt, pickup, instance, equals, game object, dirt pick up oh my gosh instance equals instantiate dirt pick up uh, oh we can't destroy the hit yet because we need to use it for something here we need to use it hit hit oh my gosh dot collider dot game object dot transform dot position 
and then hit dot. Actually, we could just do quaternion dot identity. Identity. Okay. Now we can destroy hit hit dot collider dot game object. Okay, so just copy this. Except to change a couple things here from dirt pickup instance, turn this into grass pickup instance. And copy this and paste it here. And dirt pickup changes to grass pickup. So copy and paste. And everything else should be fine. So go back to Unity. Check to see. Okay, it's just got these implicit downcasts. And now if I create another layer here. Actually, if I just put some regular dirt blocks up here. Negative 7 and 4. Let's say. Let's just put a little vein of dirt blocks. There we are. Uh, is there something? Ah, these are all untagged. That's a problem. So we need to go back into our prefabs down here and make sure the, the dirt prefab is automatically tagged as dirt. And the block grass prefab is automatically tagged as grass. Anyways, now it should work. Oh. No. Oh my gosh. Let's hope my game engine has not crashed. There we go, it's not crashed. We've simply uh, forgot here in the camera, we forgot to assign the dirt pickup and the grass pickup objects. So let's go ahead and do that now. Dirt pickup, grass pickup. There we are. Okay, now this should work without crashing. I'm just going to hit actually Control S just to save the project and the scene. There we are. So it spawns our little dirt thing there. Interesting. It made three little towers. Anyway, if we pick all that up. There we are. Pick all that shit up. Pause. What's with this here? Let me first of all check if we have 14. Yeah, we have 14. I'm not sure how many I've spawned, but 14 is a reasonable number. Let's see where the air went. Locked up, lock tag, dirt. Hmm. I don't understand why I got that error. Let's try and recreate that. Let me just double check to see if in the pickups. Yeah, these are not. Oh, this one's tagged as block. The the block dirt pickup. Just make sure this one's tagged as pickup. And that error should never appear again. There you are. Boom. Nom nom. That was actually pretty sick. If you ask me. Okay, let's try that with some grass then. So let's just kind of delete these here. And let's just put some dirt. Well, not the pickup. The actual block itself. Let's put negative 10, negative 1. Let's just copy this over. There we go. So now we should be able to destroy the first layer if we want to. There we are. Oh, you can't hit this one. Oh, that's because of the collider of the uh, the grass blocks are in the way. It appears as if for some reason the player moves faster when the objects are 
in oh that's because oh that's right when when the block when the pickup lurps towards the player uh it actually goes into him and because they both have rigid bodies when it goes in the player gets pushed away because the two colliders are colliding obviously so i think in the pickup here we got to say if uh here right before you lerp let's just say <coughs> game object dot collider dot enabled equals false and that should not give us any errors so let's try that out see if it's a bit smoother while picking up oh Ah, uh, I see what's going on now. I think. I'm not entirely sure. Okay, I don't know. I'll f I might figure out that problem later, but I don't want to waste too much time on it now. So that should be that. For picking up blocks. Now one thing that we did notice is... I'm just going to go ahead here and break one block. Uh, if you notice, I can't... Oh. I can't break this block while that block is placed down. Or this one. Oh, I can break that one. Never mind. My bad. Okay, let's try this again. I can't break this block. Now, why is that? If I select my block here, you'll notice that the trigger goes through these blocks. Easy way to fix that. Reduce the trigger size. Right? Maybe we can even center the trigger so it's a bit like this because actually no let's not do that but let's go with maybe 1.5 would be a better trigger size so let's stop the game here go back to our <coughs> prefabs blocks pickups select both of these and set the radius for the circle collider to 1.5 and this should work much better now you'll notice again here I can infinitely create dirt blocks for myself. I can give myself like an infinite amount of dirt. Or of course, well actually only dirt. Um, and that's because it doesn't reduce the amount of... Here actually, I'll let you look at that here. If I click on the main camera, look at my dirt amount and grass amount. If I break a block and I pick it up, grass amount is 1. If I break a dirt block and pick it up, dirt amount is 1. So with the dirt amount of 1, how come I can't jump here? There we are. Just a bit of buggy jumping. I don't know why. <coughs> with a dirt amount of 1, I should be able to place a dirt block. I can. However, the dirt amount doesn't reduce itself, so I can go ahead and just keep on increasing my dirt amount by just creating and doing this. So, what we need to do is for placing blocks here, or is placing blocks in the blocks manager? Here it is. Um, now we need to say if uh, blocks are selected block is uh, is equal to grass or whatever, then check if the grass amount and whatnot. So we'll just expand this out here. We'll go if selected block equals is equal to and then we'll just close that off down here and then we'll go a new line if grass amount is greater than zero which means if he at least has one grass in his pack or inventory, I would suppose. Okay. So now we could copy this, paste it down here, and change grass block. Actually, we'll keep grass block like this. Let's change the top one again. Dirt block. Dirt amount.
Just to be safe, we'll change selected block here to dirt block. And we'll change selected block here to grass block. Because after going through this kind of test, he has to be spotting a grass block. Okay. So just double checking everything. Okay, that should be good. There is already a local variable with the name instance block. Okay. So let's just do, let's just add dirt here. And let's change this, this, and this. And this, and this. And then let's add the word grass here. And change these. Okay, save that. You might want to pause the video for a second and double check because that was some weird word changing. But that should take get rid of the error and give us those implicit downcasts. Okay, so now let's see if we can place blocks. And we cannot place blocks now. So let's break a dirt block. Pick it up. Get out of there. Now we can still not place dirt, actually. So we need to actually pick up a dirt block. Because I haven't created the uh, switching between blocks yet. That'll be in the next episode. So let's just pick up... Uh, can we pick one up? There we go. We picked up a dirt block. Um, now we should be able to pick up a uh, place a dirt block. Only one. Bam. Oh, oh, we we placed two. Well, now we can just place endlessly. Oh, that's a bit of a bug there. Okay. Ah, here we go. We forgot to take away once we placed the dirt block. So we checked to see if there was any dirt in our inventory, but now at the end we need to say dirt amount minus minus and then down here grass amount minus minus there we are so now if I give myself because I don't want to go and dig for one again give myself let's say two two dirt amount there you go that's one dirt block placed there that's one here and now I can't place any more unless of course I destroy those two pick them up and place them in different places oh what in the hell happened there? Why do I still have two dirt amount? Oh, wait a minute. Okay, let me try that again. Let's give myself two here to start with. That was strange. I don't know what happened there. Two. Break. Break. Pick up. Pick up. Why does it give me two dirt amount? for each one I pick up. That's strange. sure this is strange I just want to see again if this yield wait for seconds thing is the problem let's see if that would resolve our problem here so two let's click on the main camera just to see it's going down break break there you go now I only have two in my inventory and I can only ever place two And I still have two. Okay, yeah. So it appears as if the may the yield wait for seconds is the problem. So if I were you, I'd just get rid of that. For now. And that should be that. So placing and destroying blocks and collecting gold pickups. That's been done today. Now let's uh let's sign off here in the next episode. We will uh We'll create a little uh, kind of inventory type thing. Not really inventory, but just the thing to let you know how much of every block you have. And it will also allow you to switch between blocks. That way you don't always have to place dirt, because I know a lot of, peop a lot of people don't like building with dirt. Um, and then we could start doing some uh, crafting and, and, and we can make some trees and, and, and everything else. Okay. See you guys in the next episode.